All right, let's roll some Brutals. We've got an ass dagger today. Let me uh, find a base. Or should I check what the question is real quick? I saw it in the email. Um, I almost want to go here because this has... Um, oh, this might be... Oh, you know what? This might be cool to chop with the floaties. Yeah, this might be sick. Chum, chum, chumiska. Crump. Oh, good name, too. I do be crumping. Uh, okay, hang on a second. Azteca, can you explain time travel in more detail? Absolutely, I can. Give me one second. Um, it's a light topic. Uh, yes. Yes, but also... Yep, I got the floaties. Okay. What else do I need? Bombs or speed, speed stick? Since we're going to be talking about time travel. Uh, okay, time... Okay, time travel. Where to begin? At the start, I suppose, right? Uh, okay. So, in about... <laughs> oh! Someone got shot in the back. Holy fuck, did I choose incorrectly. Look at this one lone assassin. Nope. Raptor. Got a boogie. There's a bomber here. Get him. We'll pay Diane Press. Oh, I like the claw to pull you back in on these. That's cool. Ah, there's the second one. Just you fellas, huh? Okay. Let me get the bombs real quick. And then we will start working on these boys. And they are firing fast as hell. How the hell do I even close the gap between all of these firings so... Oh yeah, I got the floaties. I didn't even use them. Alright, hang on. Let's uh, pop these. There's another one? My god. Alright, let's try this. Alright, hang on a second. There's another laser? Oh, what the hell? Time travel. Well, that's kind of how it is, to be honest with you. But I'm not done uh, going into detail about it for you. Alright, so this is what we do. Come on, grab this damn thing. Like time travel, things can be a little slippery from time to time. Nothing I'm not used to, though. I've been around the block a few times, or went around the block a few times, if you will. <laughs> I, I'm not appreciating the... Damn. Uh, okay. This... Let's go for... Okay. We're gonna go high first because I think it's in my best interest to do so. Ooh. That one fires fast. God damn. All right. Now we get this. Oh, damn. You want more, huh? Stay down, old man. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my. Mm, I think I hit my shin on the desk. Ah. <laughs> okay. I have already forgotten the question. Uh, da da da. Can you explain time travel in more detail? Yes. Uh, so let's start from the beginning. What the hell? How do you get this? 
How do you get that? That's cool. Knight Rook. Knight takes Rook. B7. Checkmate. Um, I guess it's best to start at the beginning. So, in about 200 years from now, um, a young and upcoming bright theoretical physicist um, who will remain nameless for obvious reasons, but also because uh, that physicist is only in my timeline, not necessarily yours, uh, postulates something that questions or come, pulls into question. Upper Black Eddie, I've been seeing that a lot. It's weird that this is just showing up so much. Um, that our concept of time is a man-made construct and isn't necessarily... I guess that's the only fine. I'll do this one, I guess. It's kind of... Oh, that's just a bunch more of the plasma. I'll talk with that one. So, in about 200 years, in my own timeline, which I'll get to, uh, a physicist postulates that perhaps time being a human construct isn't linear, as in um, maybe it doesn't have a beginning and an end, um, but instead is stacked with layers like a cake, all simultaneously taking place. So if you had a single second um, by Harv. God damn you. Oh shit, I got the... I still got the old... <laughs> this will be interesting. Um, boy, I really got distracted on this one, huh? Mistakes. Yeah, I'm... Oh, I put the damn Phoenix pod down. Alright. I'm not going to put another one down. Oh, my God. Well, alright. 200 years into the future, uh, it suggested that maybe time is layered and simultaneously all happening at once. So a single second extracted, you know, expanded out is composed of milliseconds, and if you expand those, you have billions of moments all happening at once. It isn't a beginning and an end, as we've come to know, because it's so foreign to our concept. Oh my god, I did it again. God damn it, I fucking knew that one was there too. This is not the one. <laughs> We'll pick it apart. Uh, okay, here we go. Thousands of years into... <laughs> um, so, this young physicist, physicist suggests, perhaps, that time isn't at a beginning and an end, all happening simultaneously at once, with many layers. And uh, this is, at the time... Kind of thought of as an interesting point of view, but nothing more than just something silly to think about. Um, but as more tests are conducted and more... Uh-oh. Where'd my game sound go? I can't hear my game sound. Hang on a second. Whoa, time is warping. Can you guys hear game sound? No, you can't either. That's interesting. What the hell did I do? Hang on. Did I do... Oh, I turned on my headset? What is... Yeah, sound levels are okay. This is going wonky. Someone doesn't want me to tell you guys about this, I guess. Which makes sense. I'll get into that, too. So this person suggests that perhaps there are many things happening at once. Many decisions, many alternate use. Um, all with differing decisions and, and lives. Some of you are alive, some of you are dead in some of these layers, and so on and so forth. Um, and it is mulled around for probably another, because it's about 600 years from now, so another 400 years after that, um, the first person breaks through what is uh, the first plate wall. Um, plates are what is then commonly referred to between the different existences or times, if you will. Um, and a lot of what people have suggested about time travel isn't necessarily true, uh, or how we came to understand it as a species. Um, die, please. You can't go back in time in your own plate. You can't go forward in time in your own plate. 
but what you can do is you can move up and down between them. So I'm not necessarily from here. I'm from my own. And the only way you can jump plates, you have to fulfill some criteria, is... There we go. Is to not be present in the plate. So in this timeline, my person was gone. I must have died, or my version of me is dead. Cool. That allows me to come in uh, and not disrupt anything. And the reason why you might slip between... Excuse me. <laughs> I have two left. Okay. This is hard to do. I'd like to go into more detail for you guys. Is uh, to correct. You can correct other plates. You can't correct your own. And I am not the only one traveling through time. So basically... Uh, our understanding of what time is is no longer a string and that is also something that's uh, more or less thrown out. You may have heard of string theory. That's more or less uh, not the case. As again, we are ascribing our own human constructs to what we know about time travel. Shit. Wow. Juke Master. Juke Master Flex. Ah, so there's a bomber here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell did I... Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> So where was I? So yeah, we're about 600 years in the future. First person is able to break through the plate. Um, within your own plate, if you will, your own cake layer, you're able to observe into the future and observe into the past, but you can't physically travel forward or backwards. Too many things become contradictions, and that's why time travel between other plates or other, I suppose, timelines, if you will, is allowed. Um, this is only allowed after research is done by some of the big wigs, the real uh, theoretical physicists, the, the timekeepers, if you will, to determine if you would be disruptive being introduced into a plate where you no longer exist. I was introduced in the 80s, this one, because my person, air quote, was gone for whatever reason or didn't or wouldn't exist here. So I got to come in. The reason I came is because there's an opportunity for me to make this plate better. And as I said, there are others doing the same as I am. And all I'm doing here is slowly collecting people who will matter in this plate and joining them together via Meet Your Maker. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a task I take on with great pride. It's also the reason I don't participate in anything of significance. Um, a lot of times I've been asked, do you change identities? Uh, the answer is no. You remain your own identity. And the reason for that... Ooh, that bounced. I don't like that one, though. The reason is they can better track whether or not you're disrupting a timeline by seeing if I show up in the paper as Joe Schmo, you know, my last name. If they see me showing up in articles or winning contests, for example, in the Meet Your Maker Discord, you know, I can have that rescinded. And then I got the, uh, they aren't time cops, that's what I call them, but let's call them time enforcers. There are entities out there that want to remain, um, they want things to remain as they are. They don't want to better anything. They want things to unfold as they should and... As I have come to find, um, it isn't always in our best interests. Sometimes they just want things for themselves. They're no different from the greedy people you found in your own timeline. 
So basically, these are extra chances. And I like this guy dodging and weaving. What a boss. Ha! Ah! Excuse me, Harp. So, that's the basis of it. Um, it doesn't begin and it doesn't end. And that is one of the major breakthroughs that explains the universe itself. Because one of the age-old questions you have, maybe even right now, is where did it all start from? You know, if, if for example, the multiverse or the universe as you know it always was, how, how can that be without an origin? You know, everything starts and ends. Well, we do, or so you may think. But the reality is that time is stacked layers upon layers and in a second expanded into billions of a second and so on and so forth to the infinite. And so things are happening simultaneously all at once. And it's why you can travel freely between them, but you can't travel forward or back within your own. Yikes. Come here, you. Where are you? This is a cool ass tower base. This is the Tower of Time. It was preordained. So, time being stacks and cyclical, think of time as a big circle or a Mobius strip. It doesn't have a beginning or an end. That's why string theory has been disproven in the future. Because time always is. You know, if you believe the universe always was. And it had to begin somewhere and end somewhere, and that's really the fallacy that we had in this time period. Um, if you are a religious person, you may think, you know, well, God created this, and you're well within your rights to think so, but if God created this, what created God? And that was the big question that we were, uh, we were struggling with as a species. Until that physicist postulated that, unique idea that time always is or was suddenly you're born you know was my person me who is here born in the 1700s or are they born in the year uh you know 2600 like i was i'm moving back but on a different plate so i'm allowed to but I've existed many times and on many plates, and so have you, and sometimes you exist and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you're born in the 1200s, sometimes you die and it gets recycled and you come back and you're never really gone. One of the things the, the eggheads got right was energy is never lost, it's just converted. And this is true for people as well. So you may have seen me once before, you may see me again. There's many out there like me. And uh, all we're trying to do is make things better for different plates. My plate was screwed. I said goodbye. And I checked in at the temporal station. I said, can I flip plates? Let me see. I, had, uh, I was on a waiting list for like six months, which again doesn't mean anything because time is an abstract construct we've created to make ourselves feel better. But in a way, it's kind of nice knowing that you never die. You know, you just keep doing it until you get it right. Um, so hopefully that explains it. Mostly, uh, too long didn't read. String theory's out. Beginning and ends are a moot point that we've assigned because we are born, begin, and then we die, end. But the reality is that we're just kind of moving around like a washing machine in a circle getting sloshed about a cake in a washing machine yes um that was fun and artistic i would say ewok a um so hopefully that explains the foundations of time travel to you now you're probably wondering okay i understand the concept of moving between plates how do you do it well that's where things get pretty interesting so as you may know have I done two bases? What, what's the time at? 19? Um, nothing within this time period that we exist in at this very moment is faster than the speed of light. 
speed of light is as fast as we can go. And that's only partially true. The reverse... Ooh, this is cool. I know it's not a five, but I kind of want to bang on it. Tingus Pingus. Oh, man. That's a good one. Gangstroke. <laughs> Holy shit. These are like cyberpunk villains. Um, so, something around this time period that we discovered is black holes themselves have such a strong gravitational pull that they can actually change the speed of light. And in doing so, because of how we track, air quotes, time here, if you can slow light, you can theoretically slow time. And that's only important when you think about... Oh shoot, I should have brought the booms. Talking too much. Time travel takes it out of you, let me tell you. Um, is basically, if you've ever seen a particle accelerator, where they get things going really fast in a circle until you reach terminal velocity, what they do is they shoot out something similar. It's not exactly a particle accelerator, but you're using the same concept is you slingshot around a black hole. Black hole slows the light, which starts altering time in your temporal field, and then you can shoot through. And that a lot of times will allow you to punch up through a plate or down through a plate <clears throat> and get to the next world. Existence, period, time. It's not exactly as precise as you'd like. You get pretty close, but a lot of times you're just kind of flung in there. And then you just feel it out. And the space in between. So, after the six-month waiting period, and I got all my vaccines for um, 80s-itis, they sent me here. Um, but I, you get a broad stroke vaccine pack, which is like, I was protected from the year 1900 all the way to, I think, 2133. Um, I was hoping to go a little further, because, you know... There's some cool stuff that happens, and I'm pretty into tech myself. But after I got my approval, I uh, got on my ship, and this is where things get a little wonky, because you probably think, oh my god, what the shit? Rip me. trouble boys I'm in some real fucking trouble now dang he he clawed his way up after me bummer so after you clear your uh six month waiting period they throw you into a ship and it's not the kind of ship you think it's not a spaceship basically what happens is time or the in-between plates is semi-tangible so think of like ethereal waves, I suppose, that you got to ride. And imagine a, a space that's the width of a hair expanded a billionth of a billionth of a billionth in the similar way that you would uh, describe time itself. Uh, I think Flashberry is the correct play. Grenade? I don't know, man. The Flashberry will let me... But I can boom. Yeah. So as you're traversing plates, even though it's a, let's say, a hair's breadth width, um, it's expanded to vast seas of semi-tangible, timey-wimey, watery doo-doo. Um, and you can be out there for any length of time. Sometimes it's smooth sailing, sometimes it's rough seas. In my case, I was out there for a hot minute and I've seen some shit, okay? The in-between. Um, it's it's in-between that you kind of learn maybe a little more about our existence because there's some truths out there and laws are different and function different out there. It was out there that I kind of discovered that whatever universe we're in right now kind of has a sense of humor. And uh, I always referred to it as you so. I was alone when I saw this stuff, obviously. Run. Oh, is this the play the whole time? No way.
Shant, get me again. Run. Holy shit, this is kind of crazy, dude. This guy likes his replays. Holy god. <laughs> Ah, this is they're like still pursuing me or something. More bolts. Wow, I'm surprised. That's good. 25 minutes. All right, let's let's continue our lesson on time travel. So you you do the best you can, and it's as chaotic as you would imagine it is. The laws function different out there. Sometimes it's smooth. Sometimes it's it's pretty intense. And uh, I happen to get into a more wavy run. And uh, as a result of that, my endpoint wasn't exactly as I predicted, as far in the future as I got. And I got 1980s, which is cool and pretty gnarly and cowabunga, dude. Um, but, you know, was it my first choice? No. And that's okay. But as you're sailing through there, you see things both past, present, and future. And you understand a little bit more. It's kind of just an innate feeling. And uh, my feeling is that. Where we are is kind of a fun place, if you want it to be. And that the universe has a sense of humor. You may hear me reference you so here and there. And I think where people who I've talked about my travels with uh, seem to struggle is they're like, well, there's also horrid injustices. And that's true. And mostly the universe is an unfeeling place. But it's got a dark sense of humor along with a good one. And I think ultimately, it wants to see how things pan out just as much as you do. But it doesn't interfere as much as you'd like. We have more agency than you think, and we also have less control than you think. Which is a paradox, which is your first example of the universe's sense of humor that I've just discussed. So after I got here, I uh, you get borned in, which is the scientific term and uh, you begin living your life and slowly you know as you become cognizant and uh, aware you start to remember things and you can pick up on stuff maybe you guys will remember stuff as it comes along but then you understand what you have to do and your pre-programmed you know assignment comes into play this reminds me of kind of season one that and what I'm supposed to do is to gather a bunch of really talented people, good people, together so that they can uh, either they themselves make discoveries or pass on good traits to their kids or their friends or their neighbors that they know. What the hell is that guy? Shit. Will he do that if I don't look at him? All right, watch. I'm not looking at him. He's coming up and down, but watch when I look at him. Wow, how is he going so fast? Oh, he's got the speed mod. Oh, that's cool. Watch, watch, wait, watch this. Once he comes up again, I'm gonna do something funny. All right, come on up, and then watch this. Oh, I've made a mistake. Not as cool as I thought it would be. Oh, shit. That was almost a mistake. Now, you're probably going, all right, Mr. Fucking Know-It-All, time traveler, time sailor, captain of the ethereal seas. Oh, now you want to know my boat's name? Well... I can't tell you that. <laughs> uh, that was erased from my memory, but I will remember it one day. That's how it goes. The more you live, the more things come back to you. It's just the way it goes. Um, I got to get some bolts back here. Man, this kind of winds around, huh? The reason I can't tell you or give you, air quotes, concrete proof, if that's what you need, 
is thought maybe you had like a flame or something there is because things that were discovered by certain people within my own plate may be different in yours. All I know is what can be done to help certain things along. But I'm forbidden for directly interfering. That's the agreement I made, and that's why you keep your name, your real name. So if I show up in any newspapers, okay, that goes on to the next part. If you get too wild and crazy, and you've probably noticed I'm fairly defensive about my uh, identity, because if I get discovered or I'm sloppy, I oh, can go right in this son of a bitch. Good to know. Um, they'll send a rescission team with a rescind order. That's not good. Those guys are unpleasant. And while there are bad actors who navigate time trying to keep timelines the way they are because they benefited in some weird way, normally the greedy types, um, there are people who try and enforce time in a natural way. Um, for those who seek to disrupt it, which isn't me. I'm on the straight and narrow, friend. Always have been. It's the way I do. Jack of Booms is a true time pirate. Time sailor, captain. Captain sailor, pirate. Ha! Felt that in my sea legs. <laughs> what? Does this bring me to more... Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the gist. Time travel, the reasons. I could go into why they chose me, and the reason is they don't. You obviously volunteer, but there are prerequisites, and part of that six-month period is to determine whether or not you have attention deficit disorder. And you're probably going, what the hell? Why would they want that? Well, let me explain. Once upon a time, and roughly rightfully so, in about 70 years, someone in the uh, psychology field will correctly identify that ADD is found in every culture and every place in the world, um, which begs the question, why? If it's a mutation or an aberrancy, why is it showing up in every culture and every people? The answer is, is because it's beneficial, or was. Once upon a time, someone with ADD in your tribe was a boon. They're novel-seeking with lower executive function in their frontal prefrontal cortex, which means they constantly have to seek out dopamine, which means they are constantly going out, exploring, trying to find new things, which make ideal hunters for your, uh, your tribe. Uh, with the advent of colonialism and agriculture where people could remain stationary the need for them petered off and while they are of naturally what is this chaotic minds the more ordered society began to become the harder it was for them to fit in ah but that's where things get interesting because you go 600 years into the future and suddenly the ideal personality for time travel bingo you got it add you're probably like why Explain, please. Well, let me claim this real quick. Calm down and have a seat over next to the fire over there. And uh, pull up a chair. <laughs> oh, shit, we're at 33. Well, I gotta, you know, like I said, time doesn't end. It's just a circle. The reason ADD is chosen is because they are most naturally suited to being dropped into environments where they don't understand what the hell is going on. And they can adapt quickly because of their uh, ability to absorb information very quickly and also forget things if if i didn't have add i'd be depressed probably thinking about all the things i left behind and now that i'm thinking about it i am but it's okay i'll forget in a little bit see that's the beauty of add so they found that these guys were lord have mercy <laughs> were naturally suited for it and made ideal time travelers and so we go to the front of the list where once upon a time it was kind of a bummer no, no, friend. You come back around. Remember when I said time is cyclical? Bingo. You were once useful. You're not useful now. You will become useful again. Do not worry. And uh, there are many other brain types where this also functions in other fields. As it's understood, and as we explore and map the human brain, we discovered that there are many different types that are useful for many different jobs and circumstances. Goodbye. 
Man, you got a lot of bombs off. That's kind of nice. It's cool, though. Really good entrance. I like this one a lot. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're naturally suited for it. Damn it. Ooh. Oh, man. This guy's... I shouldn't be screwing around in this base, I don't think. Anyways, if I get found out, um, they'll send people for me. But eventually, I gotta go anyways. Once my job is done here, I kinda either hop plates or I go back to mine. It'll be up to me, I guess, but I'm not gonna stick around when the job's done. It's time for me to move on again. That's why ADD people are so good for that particular job. You'll see. Just hang out long enough. I've been there, been to the future, and I've been to the past, and it's all rad. So, well, it is and it isn't. There's a reason I flip plates. Things don't always go exactly right. And in my plate, things didn't. But this one, you got a shot. And uh, I know a little bit about what's needed. And the number one thing is meter measure. <laughs> Could you imagine if this had been like a really long advertisement for, and I was like a plant? That would be hilarious. They're like, holy shit, this guy pretended to be a time traveler? What the hell? Which, of course, I am pretending to be. And you should tell everyone you know that I'm not one, because as soon as someone figures it out, old Daka's got to go back to his plate. Frankly, I'm not welcome there anymore. <laughs> so, let's just, uh, let's be cool. Just be cool. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hug the wall. Anyways, I hope that answers your question. I'm happy to talk about things that you guys shouldn't learn about for another 600 years. Actually, I suppose it's only another 200. But it isn't taken seriously for another 400, I would say. 200, it's suggested. 400, there's some real evidence. And about 600 is when we start figuring out how to pierce the veil, as it were. But just know, there's been many of me and many of you. And there will be many more of me and many more of you. And they're all awesome. Anyways, hope that answered your question. <laughs> also, let me know if you want I'm, a, I'm just going to assume you want anonymity, like me. But if you want me to, like, say your name, just include it in the email. I'm happy to, but I don't even think it's really... I don't... Yeah, they can't teach that in time school. Um, Let me know. I, I don't think it really adds much in, unless... I don't know. You know, maybe you're like, I'd like to people to know I asked that. I, I have no idea. I mean, your plate, your rules. So, yeah, if uh, anyone asks you about, you know, time travel and that, it's just uh, reassure them. It's kind of cool what they figure out. And uh, it makes people feel a lot better once it's kind of known and experimented on. The bigger question is why. You know, it's not the how anymore. Our next question is what's the point? And as far as we can gather, it's to improve. So once a plate gets to where it needs to go with the right people and the right things, it all kind of falls into place like a locking mechanism. And it's just good. And then it's closed off. You can't visit. There are plates you can't visit because they figured it out. This isn't one of them. The one I'm from isn't either. But we can hop. But you'll come back around. You might end this one, but you'll you'll be down the line. It just gets recycled. Um, that was pretty good. I would say this and this. Did I die? I guess we'll find out. No, I didn't. Nice time travel. <laughs>